Welcome, this is the Sequence 1.3 MVP homework solution for the IM1 honors class. So we have here is the ready part. Okay. And it's going to ask us, given the using the given table to identify the indicated value for N, B, use the value for N that you determine in A, use the table to find the indicated value of B. Okay, let's do the first one together. Function f of n equals to 12 what is the value of n so let's look at this when is function of x equals to 12 so we look function of n when is that 12 okay it looks like it's right here so f of n is equal to 12 when n equals to 5 so f of n equals to 5 when n is four so okay what is the value of n minus one what is the value okay so you are going right here this is your n minus one so the n the function of your n minus one that is right here the value of the n minus one looks like seven okay Let's do the next one. A function of n equals to 17. So let's look for 17. Perfect. That is when my n is 6. So the f of n, f of n is equal to 17 when n is 6. Okay. What is n minus 1? So we go over. The value of n minus 1 is Twelve, right? So the value of n minus one here is twelve. Okay, right here, then right here. The next one, the function of n equals to thirty-two, looks like that is right here. That is when n equals to nine. Okay, so three function of n is equal to thirty-two when n is equal to nine. One below n minus 1 is equal to 27 right there because again right n minus 1 is equal to 27 because this was the original minus 1 for n gets us 27 for the f of n number 3 f of n equals to 2 let's look for that that is when n equals to 3 you should see it right here right so f of n equals to 2 when n is equal to 3 when n is equal to 3 and we do your oops sorry ooh, 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 3 is bad n plus 1 so 3 is n plus 1 we're going up 1 so right that is for 3 yeah so let's go back that's when 32 sorry n plus 1, which is 10, there you go, right, which is going to be 10, right, so let me do that for you, sorry, sorry, let's go back and fix all of them, so, number 1, n of f of n equals to 5, when is n equals to, f when n equals to 4, n minus 1, so this should be 4, f of n is equal to 7, f of n equals to 17 that is when it is equals to 6 subtract 1 so we subtract 1 that's f of 5 so function of 5 is equal to 12 good f of n equals to 32 when it's 9 plus 1 which is 27 right, right. we go up 33 plus 1 that is 10 so that should be 37 okay next function f of n is 2 right function of n when it's equal to 2 that is when n equals to 3 right that is when n equals to 3 that is when it's 2 
and 4 asks us to what is the function of n plus 3 so n plus 3 so let's find this this is when n was 3 right now we add we add 3 so we go 1 2 3 so this is 6 so this becomes 6 and that will equal to the value of 17 5 n is f of n equals to 27 when when is that that is when f of 8 is equal to 27 right we should write that so f of 8 equals to 27 okay right that is when n equals to 8 good and it asks us to subtract 6 so they want us to do n minus subtract 6 okay, let's do that visually okay subtract 6 so it's subtract 1 subtract 2 subtract 3 subtract 4 subtract 5 subtract 6 perfect so that is f of 2 is equal to 3 so this should be 2 does this make sense right 8 subtract 6 this becomes a 2 function of 2 is exactly negative 3 okay next one function of n is equal to negative 8 that is 1 so function of n is equal to negative 1 or sorry negative 8 and that is when n is equal to 1 correct right then it says n plus 9 which is plus 9 add not add 9 so add 1 add 2 add 3 add 4 add 5 add 6 add 7 add 9 okay good so it was 1 plus 9 should be hold on let's do this again okay add 9 right so 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. It should be at 10. All right. So I'm adding 1. So, all right, you add 9. So, n plus 9 should be equal to 37. Okay. Because, again, you plug in 1 here. This becomes 10. All right. 9 plus 1 plus 9 equals to 10. The function of 10 function of 10 is equal to 37 there you go okay let's look at the next one it says using the given information to decide which equation would be the easiest to use to find the indicated values find the value and explain your choice here they ask you to find the fourth term let me grab this this image here all right let me bring this image down to help us okay all right so it just asks us what is the fourth term boom okay so we have the previous term, right? We have for seven, we have the third term. We have the third term here, which is going to be equal to 16, right? So the new one, so the so the fourth term is going to be equal to the previous term plus three. Right? This is based on the recursive formula. Okay? Fourth term, previous term here was 16. So we have this equals to 19. There you go. I used the recursive formula for that one. Let's see. 8. It asks us to find the 50th term. Do I have the 40th ninth term? Right? Okay, we can't use the recursive formula because we don't have the 40th, 9th term. Okay, what I do have is the implicit equation. Okay, so we will use the implicit equation, which is 
let me insert the equation, y equals 3x plus 7, okay? Here, it says we are looking for the 50th term, so the 50th term is when x equals to 50th, because we're plugging that in, right? Plug that in. This should be equal to 150 plus 7 is 157. There you go. So the 150th term, the 50th term has a value of 157. There you go. All right. Let's do the next one. The eighth value is 40, 78. The sequence is increased 10 for each step. They're trying to find the 20th term. I have the eighth term, so again, so for nine, we can't use the recursive formula because here we don't have the 19th term. So we are going to use the implicit equation. So the implicit equation. So in this case, we have 10x minus 2. And we are asked for the 20th term. So we are asked for the, the 20th term, which is x is equal to 20. Plug that in. This should be 200 minus 2, so this should be 198, yep. This should be simplified to, right, 198. Good. Number 10. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have the eighth term is 78. We're looking for the ninth term, so... We are looking for the ninth term. We have, okay, we have here for number 10, we have, we have the eighth term, which is going to be equal to 78. So we're just going to use the recursive formula. Okay, the eighth term is. 78, okay, and we are just going, so the ninth term, eighth term is 78, so the, right, so the ninth term is going to be the previous term, which is the uh, eighth term plus 10, right? Does that make sense? Because this is the previous term. The current term is 9. Okay. So we have that. The eighth term, again, was equal to 78. So we put 78 here. All right. Plug together. That becomes 88. So the ninth term is 88. Because we use the recursive formula. Because we have the ninth term, which was right next to it. Okay. Next, we have 11. We have uh, the we have we have the fifth term, which is equal to. No, we have the fourth term, which is equal to 80. We are looking for the fifth term, which is right next to it. So we can use the recursive formula. So the fifth term. The fifth, sorry, the fiftieth term is going to be equal to the fourth term plus the eighty. Right? Is that right? No, 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 no. Times two, right here. It says times two, so times two. Right? Perfect. So let's plug that in. The fourth term here is eighty. Working that out, 80 times 2 is 160. So this 50th term is 160. Okay, right? Remember, this is the recursive formula right here. Okay, next we have 12. We are looking for the 7th term. Oh, let 
let me label this for you. That's number 11. 12, we have, the, we're looking for the seventh term. We are looking for the seventh term, okay? We don't have the six or the eighth. Okay. We don't have anything ne next to it, all right? So we are going to use, so we are going to use the implicit okay, formula, which is going to be y equals to five parentheses two uh, x. Right, there you go. So here we are looking for the seventh value. Okay, we are looking for the seventh value. So x is going to be equal to seven because that is what we're plugging in. Let's do that here. This equals to seven. X is equal to seven. Right? If you do that in your calculator, you should have gotten the value of, let's see, that should have been equal to 256. There you go. And again here, we, we are using the implicit formula because we cannot find the um, sixth or the eighth term. Okay. Let's look at the go. Here what we're doing is we are just plugging in uh, one two, three, four, five, these are your inputs into um, this function and we're getting a y output. So plugging that in, so these should all be, okay, all right, these are all your inputs. If you plug that into your calculator, four to the power of one is four, four to the power of two is 16, four to the power of three is 64, four to the fourth power is 256, two to the fifth power is 1024. Right? Again, we are using the same inputs, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The input here is you're plugging in the 1 up here. So negative 3 to the power of 1 is negative 3. 3 to the uh, power of 2, which is 9, because it's an even power. It's negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27, because it's an odd. Uh, negative 3 to the power of 4, it is even, so it's positive 81. Negative 3 to the power of 5, which is odd, so it's going to be po negative. And 243. Next one. Okay. Uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're using those inputs, so plug in here. Negative 3 to the power of 1, which is negative 3. Negative 3 to the power of 2 is negative 9. Uh, negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27. 3 to the negative power of 4 is negative 81. And 3, negative 3 to the power of 5 is negative 243. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Inputs 10 to the power of 1 is 10. Uh, 10 to the power of 2 is... Uh, 110 to the power of 3 is a thousand three zeros 10 to the power of 4 is 1 2 3 4 right that 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 should have been right that's a thousand that's 10,000 so this is five zeros two three four five and that should be a hundred thousand good next one they ask if f of n is equal to 5n so I can write that out for you so we could see that in complete work function of n is equal to 5 to the n right they're asking you what is f of 4 so you plug in 4 here for n so the exponent here is also equal to the 4 Right, you plug in n equals to 4, so the n here is also 4. Simplify that. 5 to the 4 is 6 to 5. That would be your answer. Okay, there you go. Those are all your homework solutions for the 1.3 sequence MVP.